Yeah, really disappointing. Um, you know, Illawarra came to play, and uh, I didn't think we did. So, uh, yeah, it was a one-sided game. Not coming to play, as you said, is that just coming in essentially to play some of their one and seven things? It's a home game, should we? I really don't know the reasons behind it. You know, they came in and played harder than us. I'm not sure why guys were, we had a whole week to be at home and train together and um, sleep in our own beds. I have no idea why. I, we have no reason to be complacent. We've won two games. Um, so I'm not sure, but you know, Illawarra came to play. Yeah, I think we uh, short-circuited some things, um, some sets we were trying to run on offense, which um, when they got stops, they were able to to run freely, and uh, and it made them. I think it helped them get a rhythm offensively, and then when they made some shots, it really helped them get a rhythm offensively. Um, so yeah, there was some things we were trying to do that didn't get done and uh, resulted in quicker shots on our end and, uh, and a real flow for them offensively when they got stops. What are the, uh, the rebounding numbers say here? That they're pretty, you know, pretty differential there. That's obviously another thing as well. You've only got one rebound. Yeah, I definitely think, as I said, you know, credit to Illawarra for coming in and dominating the offensive boards, um, 16 in the first half and 27 overall. It definitely shows a, uh, a desire to get to the ball, and um, theirs was better than ours. Mark, what did you say to the players post-game? I mean, you know, towards six now, you know, win makes it 3-5, it's a bit different, you know, mentally, another two more home games, you know, potentially if you win those, you're back up level playing field, and now two six, what do you say to the players after the game when you have such a disappointing loss of home? Well, it wasn't anything about our record. It was more about our um, the way we address the game and what we need to do as a team and individually to to win games. You know, we have all kinds of talent in the locker room, and uh, and that talent got outplayed tonight. Yeah, I mean, when back in what Mike said, we just went ready to come to play tonight. The first half was probably our worst defensively this whole season. And it's strange because we had a pretty competitive uh, training week, you know, and and looking here, I mean, yeah, the rebounding numbers are pretty bad, uh, one-sided, and I've got to give credit to Sunday Deck. I mean, when it's due, he came out, he bought that, he took his opportunity. You know, yeah, hustled that whole team, so credit to him. Yeah, I mean, but that's nowhere near as important as getting the win for Cairns Swipers in the city. I mean, I don't care if, you know, I have 19 or two points as long at the end was, you know, we're happy in singing in the change room. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a crappy feeling going in the change room. You know, I might feel proud about myself, but I look at everyone else and everyone's down, you know. And, you know, I think this week here we need to really work hard and come prepared next week. Yeah, I wish I knew. You know, I, I do. I always think it comes back to staying together and working hard. And uh, because I do believe we are a really talented team. So um, it's, it's putting your nuts on the line and, and playing really hard all the time and uh, physically going at another team. And those are just a few things that I think can help us. Uh, and, and the record, like, in the end, Win or lose, as long as you do those things and play to your utmost, then you can then you can go in and say, "I did I did what I was supposed to do," and they were a better team. And uh, they were a better team, but I don't think we ever asked the question of them tonight. Yeah, 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they, uh, Nate's, Nate's very vocal on the court, and DJ is uh, um, a guy who talks in the huddles, and then there's Scott Machado and Jared Kenny who are very good leaders as well. Um, so I don't, I don't think that's necessarily the issue. Um, so I, yeah, I'm searching for answers why we played like that, but I don't think it was because Nate and DJ aren't vocal. Thanks, guys. Thank you.